Unfortunately, ventilator therapy for the COVID emergency and COVID pneumonia has not been very effective. The mortality rate, if put on a ventilator, is between 65 and 80 percent. Because of this, doctors are delaying ventilation, tolerating lower oxygens and higher CO2 levels in patients, and using high flow oxygen and CPAP to temporize. This therapy has been proven to be quite effective. The purpose of this video is to show you how to make a simple CPAP machine that can either be powered by a, an electric pump with fan blade or blower and or hospital air pressure generated from the walls of the hospital and the O2 supply on the walls of the hospital. Being I am quarantined at home, I can only show you the motorized version, but there is a video which I will reference in the text below that shows how this can also be operated by hospital air supply. The setup is shown in this slide. An AMBU bag has been removed from its valve apparatus up front and an air hose output from the motor is plugged into where the AMBU bag used to be. Here is the setup. Remarkably everything fits. Note if needed there's also an oxygen port. Here is 10 of PEEP dialed in. Here is 10 of PEEP dialed in with the motor off goes to 10 on expiration. The motor is now turned on and it remains at 10 to 12 throughout the respiratory cycle. The voltage controller has the motor running at about a third speed. It's a 120 volt motor. There is a filter between the patient and the AMBU bag valve mechanism. So air expelled at the PEEP valve is filtered. I will replace the red mechanical PEEP valve with a water column. I'm starting with a PEEP of 10. Now the PEEP is 5. Now we'll repeat. This time carefully watch the expiration valve. When the airflow is turned on, it holds the expiration valve open at a PEEP setting of 10 but it doesn't matter if you remove the PEEP, it stays at 10. What this shows is that the motor's speed, airflow, and resistance of the expiration valve determine the PEEP level, so you don't need a mechanical or water column PEEP. This now enables a very simple construction of a CPAP machine. A durable motor could supply 24 CFM, or about 11 to 12 liters per minute of air intake into the T, Resistance could then be added via the flow resistor until the mechanical pressure sensor registered the desired PEEP level. Alternatively, this air could be provided from wall oxygen and wall air at the bedside in most hospital beds and ICUs in the United States. In poorer third world countries, a 12 volt battery operated motor would be needed. Air could be vented through a HEPA filter or via a long hose to the outside to prevent viral spread inside. Finally, if the mechanical pressure sensor were replaced by an electronic sensor, you could feedback control the motor speed to provide both PEEP and CPAP. The pressure sensor could also detect the patient's early onset of breathing and adjust to perform BiPAP a higher pressure on inspiration and a lower pressure, for example, on expiration. By removing the mechanical PEEP valve, the whole device is a lot smaller and more comfortable for the patient when mounted on a CPAP mask. So I hope this video gives you engineers and makers some idea of how to make a simple CPAP machine.